what is going on guys welcome back to this almost a bonus episode in this little graphics series we're doing this is something that a lot of people probably don't know they may do i don't know but i'm just gonna throw it in there just in case i have a lot of graphics on football manager about 30 gigs worth now it's getting bigger by the release <laughs> every year it gets more and more face pack updates stadium updates and all this that and the other and also i have a lot of quite lengthy large world save games as well which take up a lot of space and there isn't enough on my c drive to have it on there i want to free up some space i don't want it all clogging that up but i do have an external hard drive so what i've done is i've moved my file location that football manager looks for you save games your graphics and stuff to my external hard drive and i'm going to show you how to do that today it is very simple so what we need to do is first of all you'll find your normal sports interactive folder in documents so there it is that's on my c drive go to documents sports interactive now normally there would be football manager 2020 or whatever year game you're playing on in this folder here so what i do is right click and copy or right click and cut whichever one you want to do and i came over to my hard drive and created a folder called games and a folder called sports interactive double click on there and right click and paste in there it will take a long time depending on how many graphics you've got so be prepared for a bit of a wait i must also say do this while the game is off don't do it while the game is on make sure the game is switched off once it's copied to this location here i'm just going to come into it you'll see there's all of my stuff in there what we need to do then is open up the steam library and then we need to right click on football manager and come to properties then click on set launch option and you'll see it's empty so i'm going to put some text in the description below so i'm going to say copy this text and then have it there and we're going to paste it in there so it will start with two dashes user underscore data underscore location equals and then it's got the word path in quotation marks now what we need to do is we need to replace the word path with the actual path we're looking for so this is it here so once you're into the folder, once you're into the Football Manager 2020 folder, if you click at left click on there, it will turn it into text. Control and C or right click and copy. Come back into this little box here and we're just going to highlight the word path and then either control V or right click and paste and it will change that text. So you've got in between the two speech marks your path. Click OK. Then we need to load the game. Okay, so once the game is loaded, you'll come obviously onto your screen. Now, don't panic if you haven't got your last saved game there. Don't worry, just click on load game and it will find it for you. So you can go in and load the game up. Now, for me, it's actually maintain the skin, but it may re go back, you know, re sort of default to the original skin on the game. So you just go to preferences and change your skin. And one thing I found was when I did it, I don't know if I'll do it this time, but when I wanted to load a tactic, it actually hasn't done it it brought me into a blank screen so i just pressed up and it found me the folder that i wanted to go to and then i clicked on tactics or whatever it was i was looking for and they were all in there so that is just a really quick really simple guide on how you can move your football manager folder onto an external hard drive to free up a bit of space on your laptop or your pc hopefully it's been helpful to you if it has please leave a like and drop me a comment let me know it's okay i've never had an issue with it so if you can't get it to work i'm not sure you can just delete out the uh, text box that we filled in and it will revert back to looking in its original location for the files but uh, like i say it's probably best to copy the um, folders over first test that it's worked and then you can remove them or if you cut them and paste them you can just cut them and paste them back into the c drive if it doesn't work or you're a little bit worried about it not working properly but anyway guys that's it for now thank you so much for watching and um yeah i'll see you in the next video Bye bye